Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Next match, Cross Balanced Cup. So the first match here in the top 16 playoffs, we start off with the uh, upper bracket. First, well, one duel and then, you know, every um, video we switch it up. So we start off with, um, I think a good one. We have Macro Rabbit versus Ravine Ruler. So the bottom one here from the upper part. So which deck has the advantage? I could definitely agree with the people that... Um, um, in theory, Ravine Rulers definitely should have the advantage over a Macro Rabbit. It's, um, well, it's Dragon Rulers first of all, but second, it um, does main deck some answers against Rescue Rabbit Top Deck being um, Maxi's Trap Stuns. If you see how strong those two are against uh, a deck like Macro Rabbit, you know, you know, it, it definitely should have uh, an advantage right there. But on the other hand, Rabbit uh, plays uh, a lot of back row, double torrential, double bottomless, double prison, uh, double, I mean, the Solemn Brigade is also there. So, I mean, it's definitely one of the strengths of Micro Rabbit. You know, normal summon a dinosaur, best case scenario, go for Lagia or Dolka, plus set three or something like that, right? Um, so Rescue Rabbit or Micro Rabbit goes first and um, Normal Summon Kabazuls and set, what was it, three or four? I don't think I need to fear Heavy Storm. I think so, unless I'm wrong. Um, no, Micro Rabbit is, I think, main necking the storm. It should be most legal during the format. Um, so anyway, we know the, the Breed Dragon is set. Um, yeah, what, about, what I was about to say, the, the thing is, is that Ravine Rulers uh, 2013 is uh, Dragon Rulers post their first ban list where they lost the small baby dragons. Um, and it was main making more traps, so I would definitely expect a wing blast, I think, two or three, I think three in the main neck. And um, uh, this, this hurts, because I think my other set is a prison, and prison here in this case... Mm, doesn't really do that much. It's obviously getting destroyed by the scrap dragon as well. But uh, imagine the what you call it, the prison being you know spun back to the top of the deck and not a warning. Warning would have been activated uh, on the return, and then the game probably would have been a bit different. But then again, how am I going to answer a Star Eater? That's the thing. Star Eater prevents, like, uh, prison, I think. You know, when it, like, attacks, declares... And it's very similar to your top with a Lightning, I think. Something like that. So, anyway, game number two. Go first, and uh, a, a good hand. You can, I mean, Rescue Cat, uh, Rescue Rabbit, for uh, the Lagia, probably with the Double Saber Saurus, because I already have one in hand, and uh, a couple of back rows, so that's always nice. Um, that's cool. So, Normal Summon Thunder King. Uh, Thunder King against Rulers is um, is definitely solid. Again, prevents them from uh, searching. Um, so, like, if they are behind, that puts you uh, in a much better position than you would be behind. And they could possibly, you know, miss a couple of those searches uh, anyway. But um, uh, this should be my duel. One set, it could be what you call it. Um, no wing blast cannot be activated. So I think there is like no back row that I should fear here. So uh, just in case, I go for it in Neat Lagia first. Monster Reborn for the Photon Pepelopratif. Who remembers this card? So, you know, uh, detach and then target the defense position monster from the opponent. Put it in attack position. I believe it, I, it loses like, what is it, 800 attack? Something like that. Okay, so one more. Go second. Um, this hand is okay-ish. One of Sabersaurus is decent. Um, the Tori Guide, on the other hand, could be okay. I, I'm just going to snipe the ty well, a Typhoon and hopefully hitting like a Wing Blast, right? Because my, my plan here, I was like, well, I can't just sit and wait. Um, and, you know, prevent or give Dragon Rulers the opportuni opportunity to potentially you know, abuse Ravine. Uh, so I try to go for it. It's somewhat of a risky move, but the Zen Mage is paying off. So get rid of the, the you know, the, the, the most certain pop being the Ravine. Uh, I again get returned, but this time I have a warning. Even though one warning got destroyed, I believe in the end phase due to a typhoon. But I um, mean, this return definitely could have been something, right? Again, have to play it passive. Put Sandmaids in defense and Saber Saurus as a big beat stick on the field. But um, I mean, here in this situation, I feel okay. As you see, Dragon Rulers needs to invest a lot of resources to get, you know, one ruler on the field. And Star Eater could potentially be a problem. But I draw Reaper, and I'm like, okay, I'm still, uh, you know, alive in the duel. Um, 
but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself, how am I going to beat the Star Eater? And I was like, here at this point, our guy not already gave up the duel because, um, uh, you, you know, Stardust it prevents stuff like Zen Mains, Bottomless Trap all because again, that also destroys. So I was like, I probably already, you know, lost the duel. But then this draw, I draw Granmol. <laughs> I was like, right, Granmol. And for you who don't remember or didn't know, I, if I'm not mistaken, Grand Mall at, so, at, uh, at a certain point, I believe during Synchro era, was uh, limited. It was at 1, I think. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was because of this. Look at this. Grand Mall on its own can, like, if you're not prepared, or in this situation, like once per turn, also because of the Reaper, I guess, uh, for some, some form of defense, you can, you can just attack into those, you know, pesky Synchro monsters. And if there are not negates, like Stardust, Star Eater, whatever, Granmol just cleans those up and um, you know those were heavy investments for rulers so I'm slowly getting myself back in a duel and the Reaper I mean I mean I'm still left a somewhat of a comfortable um, uh, amount of life points and especially with the Book of Moon I think I could afford um, to, to afford a minus I well the minus you know Reaper uh, discards your opponent's cards as well like here in this situation again because of the prison uh, I think I can afford it, not giving Dragon Rulers the potential discard for 7-star sword, you know which one I mean, or Ravine or something like that. Um, so again, Grand Mall bouncing back, discard in this case the next C. Um, again, something that I never would have uh, you know, suspected against the rulers, Reaper and Grand Mall putting in, a, putting in a lot of work. Um, and again, I don't need to fear, uh, you know, Moss or Big Back Row, so I think I can just safely summon Saber Saurus here in this case. So 2-2-1, two, two, lean, that's cool. But now again, going second, and Car Trooper, that's not good. Um, again, the rulers, they'll you know, get just free, uh, free mills every time, plus the trooper will replenish itself, itself right? Um, double Typhoon in the end phase, um, hitting Prison and something else. I missed it, not sure. Not sure what my other set is, but um, the Reaper, Reaper could be okay. But again, there's you know stuff like Draco Sack and something like that. Ah, it's torrential. So the potential Reaper here, I th because again, I'm sitting at 800 and we know the rulers are still there. I'm just going for the Reaper, picking away those resources, potentially hitting, I don't know, maybe, okay, Maxi, Maxi is okay, but we see now a, a second one, right? I mean, hitting Maxi is cool, just in case if I draw a rescue rabbit, it's something. Um, but again, pre be, prepared, uh, be prepared to take a lot of damage. Um, so the Ancient Fairy Dragon here in this case is not going to work out. Uh, again, because again, no field spell, but the Draco Sag is going to put in a lot of work. Draco Sag destroying the Spirit Reaper eventually. And uh, my answers here to that board are not that big. I uh, can definitely Typhoon the potential, I was about to say Wing Blast or Return or whatever. Uh, Sixth Sense would have been <laughs> terrible, but I get mixed seat. So this is what it is. I opt to attack into the token and put Sand Mains in defense. Well, knowing that... I probably already lost the duel, and uh, uh, I think Blaster was drawn previously, and you know, we can Tribute Summon Blaster, go for Big Eye, and then, you know, still use Blaster's effect, and this is indeed more than enough to attack for him. So 2-2, two, two. it's going, uh, you know, really nice. Both decks kind of seem equally equal. So I go first, and this is not a good opening end. Um, I think Dolka was a correct play because of this, you know, those rulers, uh, their effects prevent them from hitting the board, uh, or this prevent a stronger monster from hitting the board stronger than Dolka, right? Like, I cannot negate that, or, you know, prevent the rulers from hitting the board. Um, and, you know, kind of hope that there is no Dark Hole or something like that, but there isn't. So, uh, again, again, prevent the Dark uh, the Dragon Ruler deck from uh, getting those pluses. And Heavy Storm, I'm honest, Heavy Storm definitely came in clutch as well, hitting, what was it? Two, two back rows, right? Um, and I, I, I can just go for a second Dolka with, what was it, Monster Reborn? So, like, this fifth game felt 50-50. Like 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 no uh, like Dolka pass, like I think fifty percent of the duels you would lose that again like like any out to prevent the Dolka from triggering or whatever like destroying Dolka and you know I would have just like faced Draco Sag and uh, Stardust or the, and I would have lost this duel because again I would not at least I didn't have any back row to protect myself but here in this case it 
kinda worked out, heavy storm came in clutch, double Dalka definitely helped out to prevent the rulers from setting up, so for me this was kinda unexpected, but if you saw the duels, like st stuff like Grenmol, the bottomless uh, prisons in some way, it's, it's in some way, and here in the fifth game, felt really iffy then again, like the first duel previously was kinda secky as well with that return and you know wing blast, but uh, it is all this. So next matchup we have um, we have a good one, we have Sword Soul versus Animants at so definitely feel free to leave your prediction, okay? Guys that's it, thanks for watching, feel free to leave a control like if you enjoyed the video, let him sign out, peace.